हाई गाइज वेलकम बैक टू अन अदर वीडियो टूडे वी आर रिव्यूइंग द किया सोनेट दिस इज द किया सोनेट एच टी एक्स वन लीटर टर्बो डी सी टी विच इज पेड विद सेवन डी सी टी ट्रांसमिशन बिफोर आई स्टार्ट द वीडियो इफ यू हैव एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल येट गो सब्सक्राइब नाउ द सोनेट हैज़ अ वेरी मेन एंड अग्रेसिव ग्रिल एट द फ्रंट एंड इट लुक्स प्रिटी डिसेंट इट्स नॉट नॉट द रेड पाइपिंग जो है बिकॉज दिस इज द एच टी एक्स वेरियंट एंड नॉट द जी टी एक्स वेरियंट Let's move to the back end. Okay, guys. So in the rear end of the Sonnet, they've got a very diffuser-like treatment which looks nice, and they've got two like fake exhausts. And the grill also looks decent. It's got and complete uh, the complete rear end is filled with that tail light which looks pretty nice. And they've got a reverse camera over here and the new Kia logo obviously. Let's get to the trunk. The trunk opens from here. and the trunk's got a decent loading capacity you can load some bags in over here it's got a bit of depth under this so it's pretty decent for loading and unloading and it carries a bit more of bags and it's just a bit more load than the usual flat bed okay now let's get to the rear seats okay guys So in the back, the Sonnet is pretty comfortable. It is still a bit upright. I'm sitting very upright. This seat is according to my driving adjustment, so there's still a lot of space left. But if there's a tall person over here, then it's going to be a tough problem. And three people can fit a bit. You have to sit very close to each other, but it can still fit comfortably. They also got an armrest, and the armrest is pretty decent. And It feels decent if you were four people traveling in the car. Then it was a com. It's a pretty comfortable car. They also got a sun shade, so this is also a very nice feature. And because now that you're not allowed to tint cars, this is a very nice feature to keep the sun out and the sun's heat and the rays outside. Okay, guys. So the is the cars also got two AC vents back here and a USB fast charging port, which is pretty decent. And they got like pretty good features. This also has a very nice design over here. It looks pretty slick. Let's move to the front end. Okay, guys. So we are right now sitting in a feature-loaded car. This car is full of features. You name a feature and you've got it. We are driving the HTX, and but the top end line is called the GTX Plus. And now the uh, Kia has also introduced the X line of Sonnet, which is the line which looks a bit meaner and looks a bit more aggressive and cooler in terms of color and in terms of its uh, cosmetic changes. But for now, I think we should start start driving the Sonnet HTX. Let's go. At first impression, the steering feels nice. The steering is a octagonal steering wheel, and with Sonnet written over here, the steering is a nice unit, and it's got steering wheel mounted controls. The Sonnet has got paddle shifters, which is a great thing because the Sonnet needs it. And we'll soon move into the details as to why the Sonnet needs paddle shifters. But till then, this car produces. 118 horsepower and 172 newton meters of peak torque coming out of a 998 cc turbocharged petrol engine the car runs on 16 inch tires and uh, has a pretty nice suspension too and pretty stable on corners we did 50 on corners So it's raining a bit today since morning, so the roads are a bit slippery. So I'm gonna tread a bit carefully. But let's see, we're gonna do a few pulls over here and see how the car. Okay, pal shifter into third gear, revving the car, revving the car, revving till 6,000 RPM, fourth gear. Beautiful. I love the steering wheel. I love the response. You can see how the car picks up pace. Yes. Beautiful. Now uh, to fourth gear, revving the car again. Revving, revving, taking the corner. Such beautiful on corners.
So you saw how the car just performed on corners and on speed. The Sorrent is pretty brilliant in doing these things, and because it's a small size, it's very easy to maneuver a car in traffic and on a high speed. So if you're into that, this is a great car. People keep saying that the Sonnet is not a car for car enthusiasts. Yes, it's not. I would say a car for car enthusiasts as such because the driving position and the design is not meant to be going very fast and not meant for those kind of speeds and corners. But if you are looking for something that is practical and fun, Sonnet is your car. Okay, guys. So I am very surprised by this fact, by what Kia has done. So the Sonnet 1 liter DCT HTX, the one we are in right now, has a lot more features than the GTX, which is two lakhs more expensive than this current model. And the H, it's also it also has a better engine option than the HTX Plus. The HTX Plus runs a 1.5 diesel. This runs a 1 liter. petrol so if you want the petrol and a cheaper version you should go for the htx in the seltos the gtx variant people opt for is for because the turbo engine the 1.4 liter turbo is only available in the gt line and not the ht line but in the sonnet it's available in the ht line also so you save a 2 lakh rupee amount and you get everything that you would in gtx plus or maybe even more For instance, this car has wireless CarPlay. GTX Plus does not have wireless CarPlay. It has a wired CarPlay, and this car also has the paddle shifters. It also has. It does not have ventilated seats. GTX Plus has ventilated seats, and it has a rear wiper. It's got auto dimming in the rear view mirror, and it's got these small small feature. But I don't. I don't know. Would you spend two lakh rupees extra for those features? Probably I wouldn't. I would prefer to buy this one. I think this is the smartest variant to buy in the Sonnet if you're looking for the petrol car because you've got a ton of features and you've got it a good price point. Thirteen point six lakh is a pretty decent price point for a car like this, which is fun to drive, super practical, and also super fuel efficient. So this car has got three driving modes. Now I'm going to change the driving modes. We are into drive currently. They've got an eco mode and they've got a normal mode. So we are going to shift to eco for a bit and see what the lag increases and the amount of lag that would be there in eco over the normal mode. Okay. So I'm already into sixth gear. I'm at 50 kilometers per hour. I'm already into sixth gear. And this car runs a seven gear DCT. So if I were to speed up, the car is going to take all those around 121 because this car can speed up to around 180, 190 kilometer per hour easily. So if it's going to speed up, it's going to take all the speed in the sixth and seventh gear itself. That's the power of tall gearing, and that's the power of a petrol. Lag does not feel a lot because we are currently cruising at 40 kilometers per hour in mild traffic, so there you you do not feel the lag. If you are driving back from an expressway or coming from another city, and if you are going to cruise on the highway and or cruise on the expressway, then you should shift to eco mode, and you should try driving it because the fuel efficiency increases by at least 30 percent, which is quite a lot. Seeing you're going to Drive the same way, or you drive, you know, at the same pace. So why would you not save some more fuel? Right? The suspension setup is a very nice one. It is very smart, very well engineered. Because in the city, it's pretty soft. So over potholes and over speed breakers, it goes pretty nice and pretty easy. And on the highway, as soon as you Press on the accelerator. You feel that the car is going to respond. You feel like the car is staying on its track. It's not going from here to there. There is a little bit of body roll, but also the body roll is well contained. Okay, guys. So the Sonnet has a very well engineered suspension setup. By why, why I said that was because I drive a Seltos daily. I know the suspension of Seltos. It is so stiff. It is mind blowing on the expressway. But in the city, I get so much trouble. My car feels at every potholder hit. It feels inside, and it's 
not the case with the Sonnet, but it's also got a, a nice highway feel and a nice highway feel drive to it. So, which is pretty nice. I like it. And I do not really like the driving position. That is one con of the Sonnet. It's because the entire dashboard is a bit high and the seating is a bit lower and it's a bit weird. I don't know why. I just feel weird. These pillars just don't feel like they should be there. They're at the appropriate place. I would. Yeah, but apart from that, I think this car is pretty nice and it's pretty powerful. We're going to shift into sport and use the paddle shifters in just a bit and see how the car performs on our straight road. The HTX has also got a sunroof. They do not offer a panoramic sunroof, but they offer a regular sunroof, which is pretty nice in terms of features. Okay, guys, now I'm going to shift into sport. There's a button over here of drive and traction. I'm going to correct, click on drive and we're going to change to sport. Okay, we're in sport. And I'm going to shift to manual. First gear, using the paddle shifter. Revving till 6, 7,000 RPM. Holding on to the gear, it's auto up shifting, but it's holding on till 7,000 RPM. You can see how the car turns, you can see my hands, you can see the car is staying on its road. Pretty nice brakes, pretty nice brakes. It's a pair of disc and drum brakes so they brake so quickly that you feel very confident driving the car at a higher speed now we're going to pull again third gear now i'm going to use the paddle shifter shift at 5000 rpm on every gear because that is the ideal for this car and shift again we're in fifth gear doing around 120 and this car is superb we're in sixth gear and now i'm going to shift to seventh Running on a 3000 RPM on 7th gear, still feels pretty punchy, still feels like it wants to do more. And uh, back into drive, back into normal mode. So that's pretty much the Sonnet. You saw how the Sonnet performs. This is a beautiful car to take on the expressway if you want to change cities and go on a nice road trip this is a beautiful car for that it's got everything that you need it's got all the features it's got every capability that you would need and because it's a crossover i do not like calling this car compact suvs i think they spoil the name of an suv but i would call this car a crossover because it is a crossover and this is one of the most beautiful crossovers i've ever driven corner again second gear i'm accelerating while taking the corner and it's not leaving the road the car sticks it, it's planted like a train on a railway track it does not move at all but the car is only fun when you take personal control of things you put the car into sport you shift into manual mode then it's fun if you're driving in an automatic it behaves in a very lag I lack that over fashion, which I do not like. I think in the city, for city driving, the Sonnet should have been paired with a 6 DCT and not a 7 DCT, so that it would hold on to a bit of gears, it would let the turbo come in and the car would feel nice to drive in the city. I do not even need to keep both hands on the steering wheel because it gives me so much response and it's so stable. And the brakes, you can see, I'm pressing the brake very light foot and wow. The suspension is so beautiful, you do not even come to know. So guys, the NVH levels, that means the volumes, the outside volume, the engine noises, they're very well contained, you don't really hear a lot of noises inside the car. And you feel you're very comfortable, seats are pretty comfortable, it's a pair of fabric and leather. Because of cost cutting obviously. And this car is does not have a complete uh, touchscreen infotainment system. It's got uh, part button and part touch uh, touchscreen. Personally, I really like buttons, so I like the button for volume and all. I miss that in my Celtos because it's completely touchscreen. So, in conclusion, I would like to say that if you like a practical and a fun car which you can drive almost daily and take for road trips 
then this is the car for you if you are a complete car enthusiast then you should not go for a crossover only i would say but if you take practicality into terms of buying a car then i think sonnet is a go to car it's also offered in a torque converter gearbox and in an int gearbox and a manual gearbox with the diesel variant so it's got 29 variant options available so you can pick can choose whatever you like and make a nice match of your preference and i think that's pretty much it for today i think this is the review of the sonnet for you i hope you like this video and if you are new drop a like and share this video and do subscribe to the channel if you have it and i hope to see you soon